Parents Podcast, and of course, this is Raw After Show, and of course, this is another gen of WWF shows, and we on the road to WWE Chamber, and of course, WrestleMania. Who's excited for WrestleMania season? I know I am. I'm always pumped for WrestleMania season. Very pumped. Um, and also, I'm very pumped for Elimination Chamber because we have the new women tag team titles. And I can't wait to see how that's going to come out. And uh, definitely very excited. Before ado, this is Raw at the show. And if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And also, you can hit it around here somewhere. I think it's right there. Check out the latest video over here, which I think is we're going with predictions. You should go check that out. Check the eye for all that stuff up there because since they're going down to one, we'll have a new gaming video tomorrow. Um, hopefully. They should. Um, I've been working on some gaming videos for WrestleMania, um, some dream matches as well that I like to see at WrestleMania, um, and all that type of stuff like that. Um, Elimination Chamber um, matches also will be coming. I have to clear out my OneDrive, so hopefully maybe it'll be easier to be sent. Hopefully, um, crossing our fingers that nothing happens. But anyways, um, check out all the stuff down below in the below because you check out the blog. You can subscribe to WWE Network. Subscribe to this channel. All that stuff down below. Each below as always. And then before you do, this is Raw at the show. And I was planning on doing a reaction video for Roy Rumble, but it didn't go my plans, as you see. And it kind of sucks because I was really excited, you know, because I was really happy with how it turned out. And of course, it just didn't want to go through it. But it's okay. Hopefully, um, Elimination Derby could be a little bit better for me and uh, maybe WrestleMania. And I'm also crossing my fingers that. Things go out planned this year, and maybe we can cover WrestleMania this year. Let's do it. Alright, let's get on. This is Raw at the show. Let's get on to it, shall we? Alright, Seth Rollins comes out to open the post Rumble episode of Raw. I'm so excited that Seth Rollins won, though. Like, ugh! So excited. You know, before I continue, does anyone have any recommendations for editing new software? Because I'm really this close of changing it. So close. I pay $20 a month for the one I have now. And I, I feel like it just, it's just making me annoyed every freaking time I upload a video. So, let me know down below. And I don't have um, Apple computers, so I can't do iMovie. I kind of wish I did, though, because I like iMovie. So, I don't know. Um, let's continue on. Um, the arcade uh, talks about um, winning. Um, why did I say it like that? Architect. There we go. Um, talks about winning the Rumble last night because he had the most heart. Um, he says he was trying to avoid a point at the sign, but feels like he has to run. Did he find out the sign of Rumble? I am not just tripping. I think he did. Yeah, okay. All right, let's continue on. Um, Rollins talks about having a choice um, to battle Lesnar or Ryan at WrestleMania. Everyone knew, but well, probably at least uh, at least I did. I had a feeling that Seth was going to win, um, and also had a feeling that he would choose Lesnar anyways. But that's just my opinion. Right, let's continue on. Um, before he could decide, Triple H's music hits and he heads to the ring. Um, Triple H jokes a, a bit about the signs pointing before getting serious. He says Lesnar stepped up. Uh, Lesnar. Today is just one of those days. Um, he says Rollins stepped up to the challenge last night and proved how good he is. He says Seth has a, has to make a choice about meeting it tonight. He hypes appearances from Lesnar and Brian. Later when Seth chooses Seth, Dean Ambrose um later when Seth chooses. Dean Ambrose's music hits and before Rollins before Rollins can respond. And this kinda makes me sad because all of the reports now, um, I'm definitely hoping that you know, Ambrose changes his mind, um, but I do get it. Overall, I do get it. Um, if you guys don't know, um, it has recently been reported and confirmed from WWE that Dean Ambrose is not re-signing with WWE after his contract expires in April, which is, I believe, after WrestleMania. So, which is pretty sad, honestly, because he just came back, it seems like. But, like, they haven't been using him. And they haven't been really effective with his his character. So, like, I get it. You know, I really do get it. So, anyways, let's go on. Um, Ambrose said um, he was the one who was um, by Rollins' side when they were making 500 a month and tries to point 
um, Pant uh, Triple H as the bad guy. Um, Triple H interrupts and uh, Ambrose says his, this conversation doesn't concern him. Dean says Rollins has never been able to beat him fairly. Wait, hasn't he? Hello? Or am I just... I feel like there's been a lot of times he has though. No. Maybe I'm just tripping today. Like I said, I'm very tripping. Okay. Alright, he asks his Triple H to book a match between him, uh, between them right now. The game tries to walk away. Ambrose mocks him about having to ask Vince for permission. Triple H calls for referee and makes the match official. Can we please see Dean Ambrose versus Triple H at WrestleMania? That's the match I want to see. If it's the last match of Dean Ambrose, that is the match we should get. I'm just saying. The game versus, I was going to say the lunatic, but I don't think he really likes that. So, um, versus Dean Ambrose. Um... I just think it'd really be a great match. And plus, you've all, they always put on great matches together. Um, I mean, like, I remember the last one was just really great. So I just really think that we should have that one more time if it is the last time we see Dean Ambrose. I think it really should be. But I have a lot of questions, so what, happened to, what happens to Renee? Hopefully she doesn't go anywhere, but I get it if she does. Because, you know, you miss your boo, you miss your boo, you know. But also, bills don't pay themselves, though, so... All right, let's get him. Mm. All right, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins won. Ambrose is still in the ring when we return. Um, he tries to talk to the crowd, and I Jax and Dean interrupt him as they make the ring to the ring. Jax gets in the Ambrose's face and ends up attacking him. He, she knocks him out of the ring, and a few officials hold him back. He eventually heads to the back as the neck, as Alexa Bliss and Mickey James comes to the ring. Alexa Bliss and Mickey James versus Nia Jax and Damita Snuka. Um, this is Elimination Chamber qualifying matches for the tag team titles. Um, Nia Jax and Tamia Snookin uh, won in a qualifier for the Elimination Chamber for the women's tag team titles. And I'm so excited to see this Elimination Chamber match. I think it's going to be interesting and exciting. I'm sorry that my words had not come on clear like I'm winning them to. But it's like I said, it's just one of those days. It's one of the blame. It's one of those days. Alright. Kurt Angle versus the Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin won. Corbin attacks Angle after the match. We see via package recapping Balor versus Lesnar last night at Boy Rumble for the Universal title. Um, Finn Balor comes out and talks about his match um, against Brock Lesnar last night and how he made Lesnar believe. Um, and before he could continue, Lashley comes out for some reason. Lashley ends up attacking Balor and planting him with a spine buster. He's about to leave when Rush encourages him to hit another spine buster. The rival versus uh, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. I'm really, really excited for Ryder and Hawkins to be back together. I don't know if it's just me, but I think them as a team. The rival won, however. Um, let's see. Um, Elias is trying to perform something. He eventually is interrupted by Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy comes out on stage with his own guitar and gets a pop when he calls. Elias slap nuts. Ro Road Dog joins him at the moment and the crowd loses his mind. They start saying it with my big beach tonight since Elias doesn't want to perform. Um, Garrett and Elias Raw and Double J gets the upper hand. He tries to grab a guitar um, and Elias ends up taking it from him and breaking it over his back. Um, Natalia and Dana Brooke versus Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot Elimination Chamber match a qualifying match for the women's tag team titles. Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot qualify for the Elimination Chamber for the women's title match. Why did I always say that? I don't know, but I just I thought it sounded good when I was put it in there. Um, Ronda Rousey comes out for her open challenge for the women's championship. Ronda thanks Charlotte. Uh, Char Why do I have Charlotte on mine today? I know this is itchy today. Um, Sasha Banks and talks about how Becky has a choice to make of who she wants to face at WrestleMania. Bailey comes out and answers the challenge. Ronda Rousey versus Bailey for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, Ronda Rousey retains the Raw Women's Championship. Bailey offers a handshake out of her sex before Becky Lynch and music gets and clamps her her way down the ring. And um, no, 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 no. She officially chooses to face Rousey at WrestleMania for the belt. Um, I skipped to that because I don't really want to have to, you know, type of stuff that isn't that interesting. I mean, that was a really great, um, segment. Um, I feel like, um, you know, Becky always does really great with her segments and promos. But I really, really, really think Triple H needs to work with Rousey and how she delivers her promos. Because I feel like she has a struggle with getting her words out like I do today. Because I feel like today is definitely one of those days where I'm just struggling getting the words out today. But it's okay. 
It's secretly Monday. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay. Um, Rhonda gets in Becky's face and makes a thirst of all lunch. Just smiles at her. She brags about being more famous than Becky and promises to be at her at WrestleMania. And I'm so excited for this match. I can't wait to see what happens at the WrestleMania. Alright. Braun Strowman versus Drew McIntyre. Ron Grass is still kept, but Braun, uh, Baron, what am I doing? Attacks, um, him before he can use them to call, cause a good disqualification. The long roof grabs a chair and gets after, goes after Braun. The most of uh, punches the chair out of his hands to throw him into a pillar, a pillar to post. Um, Heyman and Brock Lesnar head out, uh, after the break so Rollins can make his decision about WrestleMania. Rollins comes out and attacks um, Lesnar, but the Beast is able to hit the F5 to stop him. He grabs Seth and hits a second. F5, he hits a third one and a fourth in a quick um, succession. Um, he lays the title on the mat and hits one more on top of the belt. Seth never officially announced his pick, but it looks like we're going to be getting what we're going to get at WrestleMania. I mean, come on. It's obvious. Rollins yells at Lesnar and asks of all he has. Brock grabs him one more time and for a six. F5 in the show. We all know it will be Lesnar. I mean, seriously. Following Raw, this is when I seen the announcement on Facebook. Um, um, it will be. It was officially announced on Facebook that it will be um, Lesnar versus Rollins at WrestleMania 35 for the Universal Championship. And I wanted to put that because I feel like it was, you know, it's already announced, and I kind of wanted to be sure that I already knew when I was recording that it had already been announced officially. Um, and of course, I put a rating for the show, which was 90 out of 90. Great show matches. We look forward to WrestleMania 34, 35. What am I doing today? But, anyways, that's all I have you guys say for Raw at the show, and we on the road to WrestleMania, and of course, Elimination Chamber. And I can't wait to see what happens, and it's gonna be very exciting the next few months. A few more months, a few more months. I can't wait. So, anyway, so I hope you guys stay. See you guys soon for Smart Live After Show. And until then, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. See you guys soon for some gaming videos. First, we're going at Sinister Gecko 91. And of course, this channel as well. I haven't done one in a while for this one. Well, I, 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 I don't know. It's been a few weeks, I think, since one. But we'll have some new gaming videos hopefully soon. Stay tuned for that, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, smash it down below, over here as well, check out the latest video over here, check the eyeball that down there, up there, I almost said down there, check out all the stuff down there as well, and also, don't forget to comment down below what your pin roll is, what you look forward to at rest of the meeting, and of course, Elimination Hammer, and I'll see you guys soon for Smile Don't Live Show, and tune in, hope you guys have a good day, bye!